at my age, people would say that the numbers of places I've traveled to are uncountable. They're crazy. I've lived so many experiences, such as taking photos in iconic places in New York, Paris, and London. I've also eaten quite a lot of types of different foods from also lots of different places from around the world. And I've gone to lots of different parks around the world all too, having fun with my family and, my, and with my friends. Disney, Universal Studios Orlando, Disneyland Paris, and Coney Island in New York. And I've also lived lots of many different experiences apart from those, but the list goes on. I couldn't be here telling you how many experiences I've lived. But we're not here to talk about me, even though I'm really pretty. <laughs> We're here to talk about how to become culturally intelligent, and what is it? Cultural intelligence is understanding different cultures, not only ours, and, well, but here are the steps. Step one, be open-minded. Now, this is kind of an obvious one, but being open-minded is when, when you look at the other person's point of view. It's when you are open, it's when you are not reduced, it's when you understand there's not only one thing in the world, there's not only one thing in, in your house. We're going to do a little activity to practice this. You're going to turn to the person near next to you, and I'm going to put a question on the big screen. You're, the person on the left is going to support the question, well, the argument of the question, and the person on the right is going to be against it. The question is really stupid, but is Barbie doll a good role model for kids? Now, you can try and get to an agreement with the person this near you. Has anybody already kind of gotten to an agreement? I know this was kind of hard because we don't have much time, but have you ever been in a situation like this before? Raise your hand if you have. Like, having. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Well, this, was a, this helped you become more open-minded because you had to see the other side of the argument. You couldn't just be like, oh, my argument is the best and that's it. No, you had to try and get into an agreement. Is it? Is Barbie a good role model or is she not? The second step is learn. Learn from a national perspective, learn from a cultural perspective. This is obviously kind of another obvious one. These steps are quite obvious, but they're true. To learn culturally, you don't only need to buy a plane ticket, hire a tourism guide, and that's it. You've, you've left and you've learned about another country. No, because sadly, at this time, we can't all do that, and it's the truth. You can learn national, nationally wise or culturally wise by the comfort of your own home or city or town. You can search an in internet about other cultures. You can try and learn other, other languages. Mm, try and find a recipe book that has a recipe on how to make vindaloo. It's really that simple. But little things like these are just, will help us become more culturally intelligent and internationally minded. Thank you for listening to my TEDx talk.